mom. One day they sat down and said, Q, what are you going to do after high school? I said, I'm going to go to college. They all laughed at me. They literally laughed at me. I'm like, what do you mean? Do you think I can't do it just because my brother, my cousin all have, you know, scholarship? <coughs> so lo and behold, because they said, I can't do it. For me, if someone tell me that, watch out. <laughs> if I not only did I not do it, I, I told my parents, I need to go somewhere else where there's no negative focus on me. Like, you know, I don't want to meet someone that's going to tell me that I can't do it and always tell me that. So I said, I need to go to Jersey. My mom said, why? <laughs> Just because I needed to go away from the competitiveness. So once I went to college, not only did I graduate within three years or four year college, I worked hard. And let me tell you, it wasn't easy. For me, reading English is like trans, you know, transcribing. Because I'm reading in, in English, but then I have to kind of convert it in Vietnamese. You should see my, back then we didn't have internet like we do now. You should see my dictionary. I mean, literally, word for word. I, I read it and read it, read it three, four times before I can comprehend what I'm reading. That's how hard I work. As you can see up here, these are the words that I live by. And I think the movie said the same thing. Like there was people that was really nasty to me. And I mean, these are my aunt and uncle who said, I will not amount to anything. But I still smile. I'm still very kind. And by the time in, within the three years that I you know, went to school, I still party, by the way. <laughs> I still party. I still did everything. But I did by the work. I was very kind to people. I worked hard. I was very humble. Did you know my parents didn't even know I graduated? I sent them an invitation. They thought that was a joke. Oh, literally a joke until they went to New Jersey and attend the thing. Um, my graduation, they all cried. Because imagine this is a girl who did not have scholarship, barely graduated from high school, and graduated in three years. That's almost impossible for my parents. That's what they thought. Because my, all my siblings who were had um, a war, you know, a scholarship, they struggled. And they graduated. And not only did I graduate three years, what monumental thing that I did accomplish was that I was the first one in my generation to graduate with honor. <laughs> so because of that negativeness, but I believe in myself. I believe staying focused, just like Will Smith in his pursuit of happiness. I mean, all that adversity that he went through, he focused. He stayed focused no matter what. He took care of his son, but then he stayed very focused in what he needed to do, and he got it done. I feel similar to that, that I had that focus. So I'll leave you with this one quote, last quote. It said, your hardest time will often lead to greatest moment, moment of your life. I feel that's what I did. That was my hardest time. Let me tell you, that three years was hard, but I made it. To this day, all my siblings, all my cousins respect me because of that. Because I didn't ha ask any hand up. I did it myself. I did it in three years. And basically, who's going to talk me now? Because <laughs> I made the first play, so there's no way you can go backward. So that is my um, contribute to you guys. And I hope I entertain you today. <laughs>